Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday Free. Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday where each and every each and every Tuesday. Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday where each and every a little but well oh. Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday where each and every week, each and every Tuesday, we bring you a brand new, fresh photography tutorial. And this week we're talking all about autumn, but not exactly in the way you might be expecting. Of course, this is the perfect time of year to go out and capture those autumn colors, the autumn vibes. So oranges, reds, yellows, it's beautiful out there. If you can get the right kind of weather, the right kind of light, which we're gonna talk about in a minute, you can capture some truly stunning stuff. But something I always struggle with a little bit this time of year is actually just hitting that exact right moment. It's a bit of trial and error, right? You want to plan your shoot as much as you can, but with the weather, the way it's been, where one minute it can feel like a very beautiful day, and then literally within 10 minutes, completely change to just hammering it down with rain, it can be pretty difficult to get that shot. It also means there's a lot of mud, there's a lot of extra things to think about. So let's talk about how you can capture those autumn colors and autumn vibes. We're gonna start off by talking about how you can do that out and about with the leaves, in the woods, your kind of classic autumnal stuff. But we are then gonna move on to how you can capture that same feeling, but without necessarily always having to go outside. There's actually a lot to shoot this time of year, which isn't actually just your leaves and your, your colors out there, there's all those colors in here as well. Okay, so first up, let's talk about going out to shoot those, those autumnal landscapes. Now, this is obviously the perfect time to go and do that, and absolutely, you wanna plan your shoots. That means working out where is gonna be best to capture those different colors, when the leaves are turning, keeping an eye on things, either online or literally scouting things out a little bit, going on walks, really just getting to know the area that you want to shoot so that you can maximize the potential for getting those colors. Then it's all about time of day. A little bit of checking the weather. You want the right kind of light. Golden hour is always gonna work really well for this kind of stuff because it's gonna accentuate those kind of orange tones, those, those beautiful, sunset tones and then heading out when the light is right. Now, for me at least, at this time of year, a big part of that is actually just making the most of when I see the sun come out. I will just often rush out to take a photo of an area that I've already scouted out because you cannot guarantee that there's always gonna be a lot of sun. Even if it's predicted in the weather forecast, that doesn't guarantee it's gonna happen. For me, the next part that's most important is all about composition, right? This is generally true of all types of photography. Once you have the right kind of light, you want to work out the composition that's gonna work best for you. What is the subject of the photo? That's really important, right? Is it a specific tree, some leaves, or are there things like leading lines within the landscape, within the frame, that you can use to guide your viewer's eye? I'm a massive fan of using paths through trees, through woodland, stuff like that, to actually create a composition. I think that works extremely well. It guides the viewer's eye through the photo and it gives you a great way of capturing all of that color. So something like this, I think works particularly well because you've got this path that just draws you into the photo and then all of the autumnal colors that go with that. Something like this, I think also is quite nice, kind of nice and wide, but I'm always looking for those leading lines if I can find them. Otherwise, things like rule of thirds can work really well, a bit of symmetry. And if all else fails, if you find something like this, which is a spur of the moment thing, you can just center up your subject and hope for the best. I thought this worked particularly well. It's not, you know, overly autumnal, but it certainly has all those warm orange tones that are fantastic at this time of year. And while it's not specifically autumnal, I was still very happy with the photo. So there's a balance, right, between spontaneity, between capturing the moment, heading out when the sun is out, heading out when the light is right, and actually planning ahead so that you know exactly where to go to when the spontaneity hits. Getting that balance right will mean that you have a much higher chance of getting the photo that you wanna get. If you know exactly where you want to go and the kind of composition you wanna go for, then when the light is right, all you have to do is go and take the shot. Now, all of that is easier said than done, right? The light is not always on your side, especially this time of year. And for me, at least, a lot of the time, it's very overcast. It's quite gray and not the kind of golden tones that you maybe want, but that can also work for you, right? It works like a massive softbox 
over the sky, which can make for some very flattering light, which means you've got other options for the kind of stuff you might want to shoot. Portraiture, I think, works really well at this time of year. Moody stuff can work really well as well. But for capturing those colors and for those vibes, you can go for some close-up details, right? Leaves on the ground, that can always work pretty well this time of year, even if the light isn't perfect with those golden tones. You can still get some beautiful colors and some lovely textures as well. But it doesn't have to stop there. And I mentioned before that yes, going out is great and taking photos of the autumnal leaves, all that kind of stuff is fantastic. But for me, something I've really learned over the years is that actually at this time of year, it's a great opportunity to capture that autumnal feeling, the autumnal vibe through different things. Pumpkins can be a great way of capturing this feeling, right? Still getting those beautiful colors, but you're less reliant on a lot of things working really well for you. You can do this out and about, absolutely. Or you can do this in your home. You can get those lovely autumnal tones, the oranges, the reds, but without having to time everything perfectly with the weather. This is also very true for things like food photography at this time of year. Autumnal food, for me at least, it's quite a big deal, right? We've swapped over from your sort of salads and your summery food to much more of the kind of the stews, the hearty stews and the casseroles and that kind of food. And actually, this can be a great time of year to start taking photos of that kind of stuff. This can give you some really nice autumnal feeling to your photo. But again, without having to rush out when the sun comes out. I even love trying to incorporate this into things like product photography a little bit, because this can be a great creative way to capture those same tones, right? Oranges, yellows, reds. But through product photography, which can be a really creative way of taking photos and really push your kind of photography brain to think a little bit differently. Still going for that autumnal feel, that autumnal vibe but just in a different way and a different feeling. So I think this is definitely something to think about at this time of year. Yes, it's great to go out and take photos of the autumn leaves and the autumnal landscapes can be absolutely beautiful. Those sunsets, when they do appear, can be absolutely stunning. But you can still capture those autumn colors and that autumn feeling in lots of different ways, including not having to rush out at just exactly the right moment. And if you miss it, well, that's gone. That's gone for another week. There's lots of stuff to shoot at home. A nice wooden texture can go a long way to feeling very autumnal. Getting those oranges, those reds, those yellows in different ways can actually be a really creative challenge. And I think doing stuff like that pushes you to be a better photographer overall. Thinking about how you can incorporate a lot of this feeling into a photo without relying on all the external factors. So a little bit more of a philosophical one this week, I think, a little bit less kind of straight up tutorial, a little bit more, a little bit more just something I've been thinking about a lot recently. If you're watching this video when it comes out, we actually have a competition running all about orange. So anything orange, this is a great time of year for that kind of thing, autumnal stuff, pumpkin stuff, food stuff, whatever you want, there's loads of that color out and about right now. You can check that out. I'll pop a link to that competition down in the description so you can go and check that out for yourself. Otherwise, there's a full list of all the kit we use for all these photos, this video, all that kind of stuff down in the description so you can see everything down there for yourself as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe. So there's new content all the time. I will see you in the next video. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.